Is that for me, love? You were right. I should have apologised for running away. Sit down, love. There's things we've got to talk about. Steve was telling the truth when he said we didn't do anything. I'm not that stupid. Anyway, I like him, but he's just a friend. Someone you can talk to, eh? He's been having a hard time, too. He's not bad, just a bit muddled. I know. It's not only kids who do daft things, Vicky. Last night, you mentioned Des Foster. Oh, I shouldn't have. It's none of my business. It is, love. And I want you to know the truth. Even though it's not something I'm proud of. When your granddad said he was going away on this cruise at Christmas, I was annoyed. Flaming mad would be more accurate. I don't blame you. Don't you? Oh, well, Mummy would have gone berserk if Daddy had done something like that. Even if it was business. Christmas was a very special time for us. That's why this year's was such a lousy letdown, eh? Neither of us got the Christmas that we expected. Anyway, I wanted to make him suffer. Childish, I know, but there it is. So I got Des Foster to come round. Oh, he'd been a, an old boyfriend from way, way back. Long before I knew Alec. You wanted to make him jealous, you mean? I wanted to teach him a lesson so he'd not do it again. It was a silly game, Vicky, and it got out of hand. But that's all it was, a game. Is that why Des hit you? Because he thought you led him on? Aye, something like that. It's not easy admitting you've been seven kinds of an idiot. I've never been unfaithful to your granddad, Vicky. I love him for all his faults. I know you do. Thank you for telling me. You didn't have to. Oh, I did. If we're going to stay friends, are we? That depends on whether you want to after you've tried my burnt toast. 